YouTubers, back again. Today is my birthday, 30th of April. I thought I'd come on and do a little chat and, and have a little um, celebration and show you what I got. Well, I bought it myself. <laughs> Everybody says it's too expensive, so I bought it myself. I done a car boot today, so I look a bit tired because I had to get up at four o'clock. I take her out. I just took her around the block, come back and had to shower everything and then went up there for four was it 4.30? No. Why am I here? I've see it already. I'm getting all 56. Brain gone. No, I got up there for half six to put the stuff because you have to put the stuff everything. One thing, if you, anybody do a car boot, when you do a car boot, everybody's there looking what they can get. you got to watch them because sometimes they steal your stuff as well. But yeah, so I done today. And if the weather's all right, I do Monday again. And maybe another two more and that's it. That's the stuff that I've... It's just stuff that I've clear out and stuff I change because the money I get like I said I buy other stuff and I've saved up I'm having biscuit tea with a bit of cream in it I thought I said but <laughs> any excuse and um, what I've done is the money that I've got I've put together and I'm paying for my Christmas present I'm paying a bit of it, my partner's paying a bit, bit of it. I know it's a long way, but the stuff I want is a bit expensive. So what we're doing it is half half because we can pay with clear pay. So when it comes, I'll show it to you, but I can't keep it because it's got to go back to him to keep for Christmas. Because I wanted that and I said to him, well, if we, you pay half, I pay half. So you pay half for my present, I pay half. So Because it is a bit expensive, it's 400, it's the Mandalorian, the child. And I liked it. If anybody's watched Mandalorian, they know what it's. But it's like I was gonna have some Baileys, but I didn't. Yes, didn't get any Baileys. So see, I might get some later. So I went into town. When I come back, I took her out, and then I went into town. I don't know. Some people said they love town because in Birmingham we have the bull ring, and I go in the morning. As soon as it come about now, it's twenty past four. I, I had to go there for about half three, and it was packed. I don't, I don't know if it's the lockdown. I don't like crowds. I, I can't seem to. I I keep thinking there's something bad gonna happen, and when I see a crowd, I have to get out. I don't know when I start doing Comic Con, so I don't know what's gonna. Yeah, I think that'd be all right. Then the gaming market I'll be going next Sunday, not today Saturday, not the next Sunday. So I'll do a little vlog if I can. I wanted to do a blog on the car boot, but some people don't like you taking videos because the man did and the man said, are you taking, he said, I'm just taking pictures down there and he reported it to the blog who run the car boot and he told him not to take. So I used to do it, but some people don't like, so I don't bother now, but the gaming market, I'll do that. Right guys, I went to Chocolate Hotel. I always wanted to have some Chocolate Hotel because I haven't been to Cadbury's and that and I thought, well, I've done a car boot, treat myself, and I went and and because you're a VIP, you get five pound off for your birthday. So I had five pound off the chocolate, and I thought, well, I'll try that because I ne I heard people talk about it. I never try hotel chocolate. I had the drink, and it was nice, a um, chocolate drink. And because I had a VIP card, I had, I think it was ten percent off it to drink, and that was nice. And I'm thinking of getting a velvet ice, but I don't know. If that's a bit so. I might get that next one what i've got what i do i plan it i know some people say well that's a long what i do something to look forward to so i've got that to look forward to christmas and then what i want to do when the new iphone comes out the iphone 14 yeah the 14 and it, yeah i want to get the 13 because what i do i trade in my phone to cx the money off that and i put some towards it because i used to rent phone contract and the man said to me you know how much you're paying three years or two years contract and I was paying 57 and the man I was working then I was paying 57 and he said you know how much you're paying for two years work it out he said you could buy three phones for that so so what I do now I just trade in my phone the money off that I put towards the next one but I always buy say like two three years I don't get the new as you get older you don't fuss anymore do you when you're young you want the newest thing but when you get older you don't care anymore Lose interest, I suppose. Right, before I start, I got this 199 BNM. If anybody got pets, cat, dog, like me, but my cats stay in the house, so they use a litter box and everything. And I tell you, this is, I just sprayed some because they use a litter box. 
and it's this one it's 199 bnm i think you can get it at home bargains and it's brilliant it's for pets so if you've got a cat dog any pets and they're quite good so that's what it's called if you want to screenshot it and it's quite good you just spray you just spray it and it's and it smell nice i thought i tried it i saw it advertised and it kills germs because i've got this one and i've got the pet detol that you can wipe all over the surface and i've got that um spray that you can make your clothes fresh it's for bees for bees i can't ever say bees i can never say them i think you know what i mean for bees and it's um for pets and you spray it and it kills when you got pets because you get the when you got a dog you can't smell it but if people come in they smell like doggy smell but people say to me they never smell doggy smell i don't get that much people coming here so it's <laughs> having a drink this is my first cup of tea coming back well i had a coffee at the car boot then i come back i went out with her then i went to um town so if my partner's got time because he's at his mom's we might go out for something to eat to we'll see when you do a couple you do get thirsty just standing there oh <laughs> there's an old saying people will buy anything at the car board. i had some porridge and i thought well not to i don't eat it that much so i took it there it's all right the porridge is in date everything so i had loads so i sell them 10 pence <laughs> and the man was buying them he said like probably 10 pence he was buying them so i don't want to wait so i sold it for 10 pence and some chocolate i had that was the heat got to it 50 pence that went cocoa pops a box of cocoa pop the woman bought it and i sold some of my gothic stuff for that and yeah so the money i got towards it i bought that chocolate and some lush and what i do when i sell it i just put towards something i want pay me bills and then the dog food and that so but mostly the gothic stuff goes people like that because i sell it i don't sell it expensive so like i had a big scholar i sold that for 20 quid a uh, dragon i sold that for 25 so all i've got left now is a gothic lamp and another dragon and then two heads nobody seems to want because i said that one that you saw was hanging near the red one and i've got one that hangs nobody seems to like that so right so i'll show you what i've got well if anybody likes lot i like it because they they can't i treat myself like christmas birthday or maybe if i feel down i go and get one but um what i like about them i always use them now is um and x bomb i use i don't test on animals and if you have animals you don't like things that you use tested on animals i know the lipstick i use maybelline somebody said they do test on animals but um i don't know if they do so i don't I'm not sure about that i used to use avon but and i used to sell avon but avon's gone right downhill their, their stuff is not that brilliant anymore perfume and i think it's gone down it used to be nice i used to love a perfume called passion dance and that was nice they don't do it anymore so i went i, I went, got these two there was um i think there was 12 and i got these so what i used to do with these i used to just chuck it in the in the bath and then put the water and the lady was telling me in lush she said what how to do it and thanks to her i didn't get it but uh, thanks to her she said what you do run your bath first and then drop it in so i'm gonna i might have a bath tomorrow or something and that smells nice and it's this one so it's that one that was 650 so i thought i'll get that and she said when the water's full so if anybody never used lush or see sometimes you go past the shop because i know i had a friend i got a friend um enigma review she don't do youtube anymore but we went out and, I, and she never used lush and the lady was telling her and she dropped it so i should have watched her because I think she done it the right way because you fill the bath up and then you drop it and it gives you all that colour. So she said this one is a bath, a bath bomb is it, that you drop in and then the first. So I'm going to fill up my bath and then just drop. But it smells nice. It smells like minty. There was one she said earthy smell but I didn't like it. It smelled like, you know when you dig up, you know if you got a garden and the ground is wet and you dig it up. That's how it smelled. I wasn't too keen on that one. I might get it next time so I might have a bath tomorrow or maybe um, bank holiday monday I might do that because when i finish i'll take her back out again and then i can rest so that was that one then i had this one i had to get this anybody got cats no wife so i had to get 
I, I think there was one that was a lucky cat and then there was another one the lucky cat and I think there was another one with the paw I think that but I had to get this didn't I anybody who got cats yes no. I had to get that one just because it cat it doesn't look like a cat does it it's supposed to be a cat I don't know if you can tell it looks like a cat so but what she said with this one you fill up your um well you run your tap you break it off and you run it under and it give you that bubble so i was doing it wrong what i was doing it breaking off chuck it in the bath but you let it run under the water so now i know you live and learn then you have 56 you get to run. i thought strange because she said a man come in and said your bath bombs are rubbish she said i put it in nothing she said you have to fill up the bath right? and then you get all that pattern so so yeah so i got them too they're nice so if you if you never tried lush try it and they're bad it's quite good about that you can see why do I take them and, um, when I sell at the car I just put stuff in there for people and because uh, one lady said oh your clothes smell nice I said yeah well I wash them wash them with bowl because I'm not gonna I don't take stuff to the car boot that's messy I'll give it a wipe clean some people take stuff to the car boots it's really you wouldn't buy it I don't know where they get it from but if you're gonna sell things to people you make sure they look decent and Yeah, and then I got the chocolates and I thought, well, I'll get some, treat myself and see. Because I got the five pound off my birthday. I think I just wanted to get walked along town with the bag. So I got this one. This was the same. It was usually, I think, 20, 23. I think it was 23 or... That's what it looks. Oh, it looks quite nice. I'm not going to open it yet. That's how it looks. And yes, I never, you know, I've had um, chocolate, I've had milk tray, black magic, I've had Thorntons, gonna have Thorntons. Um, I don't think they have Thorntons anymore. Thorntons, I've had lint, I've had shells, Russia, them ones. And yeah, because I looked, I thought it was dark chocolate, but it's not. I don't know if it's mixed dark milk. So fine. Well, I can eat dark, but not too much. And that's what it looks at the back and that was on the sale and that was as you can see as it says there and i think it was 20 but it was 11 pound 11 pound um 25 she said you know i don't know if it's arthritis every time i um hold anything this i have a sharp pain so i don't know if it's arthritis getting old and when the dog pull i don't know i'll have to see if it is so i got that and then I got this one, I had to get this one. This one then, um, I thought, well, it's new out there, so I it as well. 16, this is. So I don't know what that looks like. She said it's got all different, so um, I'll have to open that later on. So I got that one. That was 16. They had a little one for £8. I thought, well, the only birthday one, so I might as well try. And then next year, I can know what it's like, so I can have the little one next time. And then I thought, I'll get this. So yeah, I came to. All M3 came to 20, 27. I think it would have come to uh, 5, so that was 20. 20 would have been 32, wouldn't it? 27. No, 27 and 5. I think that's 20, 32. Yeah, so they took the 5 bar mark there. I think I'm not very good at maths. So, yeah, so I got that. So, and then I got this one, and I thought. These are um, four, four fifty or three for twelve pound. I know people say they're chocolate, and that's why nobody buys it for me for presents, Christmas or anything. I know people say they're expensive, but they're supposed to be proper chocolate, and it smells nice. Isn't it? I think this one is um, I think it's um, oh yeah, it's like lick the kiosk stuff. So I'm gonna try this one. Let's we'll see what this tastes like. I think I'll try one in it. See, mm. can feel something inside. Oh yeah, like little, like what they call it, little. Mm. Tastes nice. Tastes different, you know. Tastes different. I can see. Yeah, I can see why it's so expensive. You want to get none in the dog. I'm push that part off the button. 
Yeah, I can see why it's so expensive. They say you pay for what they say you pay. You get what you pay for, don't you? I always believe that if you got the money, buy you the best. If you haven't, then you you don't bother. Because my partner always laugh at me. He said, I said, well, if I haven't got the money, I don't buy it. Because like that, that's nice. That is. So if you're ever in chocolate hotel, these was only four fifty. And they're called um, they're called the Cure Collection Number One. And I just had that. That's really nice. It tastes different. You can taste, yeah. You can taste the difference. I can. Some people, my partner said you can't taste it, but you can. I can taste the difference. Because when he said butter, and he has, um, like, I call it pretend butter, but you can taste the difference. That tastes like really rich chocolate and that. Because I had the drink, the, um, I went into town when I picked up that lamp and I had the, um, no, it wasn't when, it wasn't that because it was all closed. Because all the shops was closed, it was bank like holiday Easter. I went and... I had the hotel chocolate and I tell you it was really nice because they put like chocolate cream on top and, the and I drink it and it was really nice very nice because they said the velvet is supposed to make the chocolate really so so yeah so I thought I'd come on haven't been on for a while so it's just been busy really doing car boot still trying to get um get looking for properties in Liverpool I ain't give up I've got um, some people laughing at me. I've just taken a notice. They, they keep saying, oh, you've been wanting to move to Liverpool. You still ain't got there. I said, it's the pets. I said, some of the landlords don't want pets. I said, me alone. I've been gone a long time, but I'm not going to... Um, I'm just trying to get this in case I can. I'm put this back in there. I think about it now. I'm sure you. If you're ever in the chocolate hotel, that's what it's called. It's really nice. And I've got different varieties. So, um, just have it. It's only four fifty. Just try it and then see what you think. But I got that because of my birthday, so I'm gonna try that later. So that one I got, and this one, I only got that size because it was um special offer. They did have some sale, and they always. And if if you've got the card, you can get if you got the phone, get the app, and you get percent because she said okay, you got your five pound, but you get ten percent off. But being a VIP, you get discounts. So that's worth it and you build up your points and then they give you some money off so that's good too like your birthday you get five pounds so i thought well, yeah well i'll try it and i'm glad i did now i'll be going up to liverpool um, in a couple of weeks time again because i've changed my phone number oh, the phone number because i was with bt and everything's going up i was paying for my internet phone and phone sim only that was coming up to 60 pound a month but now with o2 i've got sim only it's 10 pound a month and with the internet it's 42 so i thought well that's a bit cheaper so because they was going to send me a pack tv package and that came up to 69 pound and i thought no that's a bit much because i've got netflix and disney so because my partner pay off disney and um, netflix so we do it he pay some and i pay some so but yeah, I have to go up to Liverpool and go all around to the estate agent to give them my new number. Because I know the chap said there were some properties coming so he won't be able to phone me because it's my new number. So hopefully I remember where they are and I'm going to go up there and go around to my favourite place, the docks, get some rock. And I might stop at that cafe as well and have a chocolate there, see what that's like. But yeah, I've... Um, that's what I've been doing and I and I don't I don't come on here if I've got nothing much to talk about so I just think well but next week I'll be doing the gaming market so I'll do a little vlog day like I did last time and like I said I would have done the car boot but people don't like him um, the reason I'm looking there because where I live like I said before it's traffic and you see people walk in traffic and it tends to catch me eye so that's why sometimes you see me drifting over there and I'm not looking that's why because where i can sit sitting here i can see all the traffic going up and down so it's quite distracting and yes yeah, so i'll be doing the gaming market and like i said i've done the car boot oops that was the chocolate i've done the car boot but people don't like you filming 
I think because maybe some people do it and they don't, they just don't like, maybe people give them stuff and they're selling it, they don't want people to look or they just don't want people to see them doing a car boot. Some people a bit, a bit, um, what they call it, a bit, don't like people know what they're doing. Because there was a lady used to sell in town a car boot and she used to say that she was doing it charity and that. But that's what she said, that we guessed it, but she, what she said, she get the clothes from people and she sell it. They donate the clothes, but I think maybe she might have told them she was doing charity stuff. And if they found she was doing cardboard, you never know. Everybody's different in its circumstance. But yeah, so hopefully if the weather's alright, I'll be going to one tomorrow darkly. See what I can get. And then I'll do one Monday, then Saturday. Then I see what left I got because the big stuff people like, you can't blame them. The little stuff they don't. Because what I tend to do, put the little stuff in a bag and they say 50 pence. Three for a pound or 50 pence each and they buy because the lady had two items 50 pence each a pound and i said well pick another item i said it say you have three items for a pound instead of two items for a pound and she said yeah that's a good idea because three items for a pound and she got two she might as well find somewhere else i know sometimes it can be difficult finding somewhere else to make a pound to make it turn three for a pound so that's what i did and uh porridge i thought well instead of chucking them and there was in date everything sell them for 10p and the man was happy and i sold some chocolate the man said i saved his life because he was hungry and he wanted some chocolate so and i was there there was a man selling chocolates but maybe he didn't come yet because i bought some sweets and chocolates and stuff like that and that's it i gotta watch that dvd then i can sell that one so i tend to go around my flats looking what i can sell <laughs> So now I'll have nothing left, but I've got my gaming stuff. I've got my Assassin's Creed one. I might do show you that. And then, like I said, when Baby Yoda come, I'll show you. I've got some clothes that I ordered for my birthday. Mary Wyatt. I'll show you that on the next one. I should have showed you that. I think it would have been dry, but yeah. So that's um, Mary Wyatt's leggings on the top. First time I bought from her. So that's it, folks. So I am going to take her out again. It's quarter two, yeah. So I'm going to just walk around the co-op. Where I live, there's a co-op. So come out of here, just walk down and bring her back. Because he won't come back now from his mom till about six, half six. And if we go somewhere to eat. Because if I sit down now, relax. You don't want to go out in it. Night time, you just want to relax. Half six, seven o'clock. You don't want to be going out. So I've got to keep myself. Then I can just go. Because I didn't even change my boots. I just... Um, just kept them on right folks so i'll catch you on the next one so i'll um like i said i'll be doing a gaming market and then when my baby yoda come i'll show you that and this top and and that's it there's nothing much and then when i go to liverpool i do that again take the picture and that stuff it should be about i think two weeks next week well tomorrow is the first of may so it won't be next week it'll be about maybe two three weeks then i'll go back up there again look Trying to look for some more properties on there, but there's nothing much there. It's just pets. Because some people, what they're doing, they're putting the properties up, everything, and then they're taking it off pets not allowed and that. So I don't know what's happening. But yeah, folks, so that's my, um, today my birthday. I won't be doing much. I, like I said, as you get older, you don't go. I never did anywhere. When I was younger, my birthday I never gone anywhere. Because my dad was, he wasn't, um, my 21st, I went to a pub and the police got me drunk. They gave me per now and I was drunk for five days. I couldn't remember. I was out for five days. And my 18th birthday, I was at home watching telly. That's it. 16th birthday, nothing. People say 16, you come into 16, nothing. 18, nothing. 21, I just went to phone the police, give me some drinks and that's it. And I woke up five days after. So, And my 30th, I was working, nothing. My 40th, nothing. And then my 50th was nothing. But my 60th, fingers crossed, I'm going to be in Liverpool. And when I, I might have a little, um, might have a part. I don't know about the cabin if you can, but I've got to find out. I want to get up to Liverpool for my 60th. That would be brilliant. 60th birthday living in Liverpool, that'd be brilliant. Fingers crossed. Like I said, you got to keep, keep on. I'll get there. I love that city. It's so nice. And I want to get up there live up there i always when i go there I'm, I'm so happy when i go there when i have to come back to birmingham my face and it's just because my partner say he can tell the voice he said when you get there once i get on the train and i'm now going to liverpool i'm happy it's when i get back on the train to come back to birmingham it's just you know birmingham is all right i'm not running i've been here since i was seven 
what I don't like about Birmingham, but Birmingham, the bull ring, leave it as it is. They're trying to make it like London. Now, Birmingham is not London. If you go into town, I don't know if anybody's been to Birmingham, been up to town, New Street, where Grand Central is. I think they took that name from America. I just went into town just now and it was just packed. And what I don't like about town is it's too much restaurants and shops that's for expensive. They, they had Louis Vuitton that's closed down. They had the Radley shops that's closed down. They had um, that candle, what is it called? The um, Yankee candle that closed down. And when you go through the pavilions into town, it's all restaurants, restaurants. Even my friend Linda, she doesn't like going into town much. We used to go in, have a coffee, have something to eat. It's just, no. And most of the shops now knocked down. And with town, you've got Primarks. They're doing a big, a big um, sports direct's going to open soon. And um, charity shops there, they're selling like... Like it's a new shop, they're closing there. They're going vintage, £60 for a cardigan. That's second-hand shop. They do. I, I know it's for charity, but £60. And then you've got... Lush has gone big. The shop's really big now. Primark's really big. And it's just nothing... Like What I like about Liverpool is you go into the shopping centre, you've got... You can go in there, you've got CEX, you've got Aldi's, you can go... Everything there. Because when I went in, there was Aldi's, there was... Um, Wilco's, Sainsbury's, there was B&M, Poundland, everything in the city. In Birmingham, you've got town, but if you want to go to Iceland, B&M, but I got one there, but own bargains, you have to go to Northfield, you have to catch a bus to go to Northfield. If you want to go to Farm Foods, you have to catch a bus to go to Cottridge. But in Liverpool, it's just one, one centre. And I think most of the big cities like London, Manchester, there, they've got one thing in one shopping centre, but us... If we want some, we have to go different areas, so like town, then you have to catch a bus to go to Northfield. If you haven't got it in Northfield, you've got to catch a bus to go to King's Eat. And if you've got nothing there, you have to go to Shirley. So but Liverpool's got everything, unless you want something else, then you go, like, I think Aintree's got a big um, shopping centre. But that's what gets me about Birmingham and... It used to be good, but now it's just where I'm sitting now. There's building flats and houses, flats and houses. Town, they've built apartments where the rag market used to be. They're going to knock that down soon. They're going to build flats there. We used to have a car boot every Sunday you could go. If you had nothing to do, you could just walk. It was like a tradition. I think it was on the news about the Birmingham wholesale market. That's gone. I don't know where that is. I think that's up... Um, oh... Aston somewhere that's gone now and they're thinking of knocking the bull ring down to put flats there is the rag market and the, the bull ring where they sell meats and everything see so it'd be nothing it'd be just it's just aiming at young kids 16 to 17 year old that's what they're aiming at now they're not aiming at for people older like to go there have a shop and have a moot round and things so but yeah that's why it's, it's gonna get I don't know it's gonna they just want to build places for people with money, not for people who's just want to live. Um, I don't know what they what they expect. What's what's gonna? They're trying. They're tr that's what I said to the man. They're trying to be like London. They're not gonna be like London, Birmingham, etc. Second city. They're not gonna be like London. It's just they got the design wrong and everything, and they don't think about people. You got nowhere, they got some statues, but it's not like Liverpool you could walk round. You could have in Liverpool you can have a sandwich, a cup of tea, take your dog, walk round and have a day out. Birmingham, you have to have some money to go in a shop to buy something. You there's no way for you to sit to do anything really. So unless you go really out towards you need a car, which I haven't. My partner's got a car, but he So yeah, so that's me moaning on my birthday. It's all right folks gonna take her out and this might be uploaded today at the 30th it might be uploaded tomorrow but yep and i'll just have the best birthday i can and nothing special really me 60th i will have some and yep so i'll show you that when it comes my christmas present for christmas not a long seven months and then me um look forward to me me um birthday one next one <laughs> Right, where's Suki gone? Suki, you're not coming, Suk. Suki? Suk? She's not. I think she's up on the wardrobe chain. Suki? 
No, she's not coming. Oh, Sook. Everybody want to see you, Sook. No, I think she's gone. She might come afterwards. She might catch on the next one. I think she's on. I think she's um sleeping on top of the wardrobe. And smudges on the bed. So, yeah, folks. So, this has been a long video. I think it's been half an hour video. <laughs> if you get bored, just skip through it or just, yeah. But I just thought I'd do a little chat and let you know what's going on. So, nothing much. Sometimes I come on sometime a couple of days when you do things. But yeah, so the gaming market be the next one. And I might do one before then talk about what that thing come out talk and what I got. And if I get anything from my present, if not, then that's it. I got some flowers from my partner, he bought some. And that's about it. Didn't get nothing. Because I got no family. I don't get nothing. And I've got one good friend, Linda. She sent me a card, a nice card. Usually we go out, but I couldn't. She did invite me to come out Friday, but I couldn't because I had to go to the job centre. It's a shame that, because we'll meet up again. We always meet up. We've been friends for years. I used to work at Sedi York Hospital and we've been friends for years. So she's a really good friend. I've got one so-called friend, Carol, but she's not, um, not that, you know, like a good friend. Just used to work and that's it. So yeah. But Linda is quite good and we always ring each other and talk, so... That's one good friend I've got. That's it, just one good friend. Friend for years. And her kids are good. A son and daughter. Now she's got a granddaughter. So yeah, I've got no brothers and sisters. My mum's dead. My father I don't get on with. So that's it. So it's just me, the cat and the dog. And my partner when he's... Um, but he's more with his mum. So he spends more time with her than me. So he's there from morning right to till evening so he finishes his mum at half six then i see him then he goes back again because she's in her 80s now tomorrow but yeah so you just make the best of it which that's what i do and can't complain there's people like people say there's people out there worse off than you so when people say that to me i say yeah <laughs> that's it now right the video's gonna go along i just saw a little chat i think when i chat i do carry on don't i but yeah folks so thank you for watching that and if anybody watched this who's friend with me on Facebook, thank you for the birthday wishes. I'll do a message later, so thank you to everyone. And if nobody is on my Facebook page, friend, thank you anyway. I know some people leave comments and say happy birthday. Thank you for that. And, yep, I'm going to go take her out now. And if I go out later, I might have a glass of somewhat. And that's it. Back tomorrow to a car boot to walk around. <laughs> that's my there and then monday if the weather's right I'll do a car boot and next week the gaming market so hopefully i'll get some of there show you what i get and right now folks i am gonna go i keep saying that so thank you for watching you take care and have a lovely evening and i know it's bank holiday monday so try and have a nice holiday rest piece for one i think we'll have another one i don't know if we've got another because we've got one monday i don't know if we've got one in the end because I know in Birmingham we have the gay parade, but I don't know if they're going to have it end of May or August. We'll see. Because I went to that one. It's nice when they do the procession and everything. All right, folks. Now I am going to go. So I'll catch you on the next one. Suki's not here. Suki? Suki? Are you upset? Because I went into town and usually I go into town. I buy them treats. I thought, well, they had treats on Thursday. Did I go to Thursday or Wednesday? Was it Tuesday? I think Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday I went into town and got the dog a bone, the cat some treats. and then, So I went today and I didn't get them no treats. So I think they're all sulking because I didn't buy them any treats. You had some turkey slice. See, every time I go, I've got to get them some treats. So I'll have to pretend and then give it. That should be all right. Okay, folks, now I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.